Hi Virgo, welcome to SoapQuest Synergy. I'm here to synergize with you for the month of September 2015. And I want to say happy birthday to all of you Virgos out there. I really um, want to just take a moment to send a special message to Hope, my partner, and tell her that I miss her. I miss her. Um, if you haven't seen the announcement video, then I will let you know that I am having to relocate to join my husband and son in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is absolutely imperative, which means that Hope and I can't be in the same room together to do our self scopes. Um, but Hope is such a gifted reader. So happy birthday to you, Hope. I hope that you will um, take this new adventure on board and upload your own videos because uh, so many people could benefit from your wisdom. And to discuss Virgo season, let me just start by saying Virgo people are incredibly loving and giving people. They are really um, servants to the world. They, they give in service their love, their heart, their work, and they're incredible salt of the earth people. And I have the utmost respect for the Virgos that I've known and loved in my lifetime including hope. Uh, you know, I, I've looked at this month and decided that the theme really is refine or redefine because Virgos are going through such enormous growth right now, a huge growth period for the next year. Uh, Jupiter is in your sign, Virgo, and it is for the next year helping you to open yourself up to spiritual awakening deeper understanding of the mysteries of life, the esoteric, you know, the higher learning and the wisdom and the education. I always say that, uh, you know, when, once you've grown up, you either grow inward or not at all. And, you know, this year, this coming year, Virgo, with Jupiter in your sign, and not just Jupiter, we'll talk about more in just a second, but to hone in on Jupiter, which by the way is your keyword. I just picked the word Jupiter as your keyword because this month is really the beginning for you. It's your solar return, you know, so it's happy birthday and happy new year for you. A solar return is a very powerful time, uh, a time for reflection and then a time for manifestation. And that is a Virgo. A Virgo is incredibly smart, ruled by Mercury. They are analysts. They consider all the information at hand. They're able to discern from the information um, and then make choices that are um, really chosen from good judgment and virtue. You know, Virgo the Virgin, they care very much about all of the people on the planet and the earth itself. So props to all of you Virgos out there. Um, Virgo, the season of Virgo is really about your day to day. And it's about your time management and the, and the quality of your life, not just the quantity of the hours and the days and the years that go by. Measuring your life with simplicity by revering the moments of joy and synchronicities and things that, that you look back over your life and are grateful for, memories and moments. Virgos do that really so well. Uh, you are natural and organic people. You are, have finely attuned senses and uh, you love to be outdoors. You love animals and nature and I love that about you. You have incredible clarity with your thought processes and you, you take good care of yourselves. You, you are people who, who care very much about your health and your love language, if anything, is acts of service. So. Um, a Virgo is a good friend, a good parent, uh, a good child for their parents, and just incredible people. And I have to say, uh, they do really have such a, such a caring way uh, about going through their life. They really do consider others. And so you're a very special member of the Zodiac Virgo, and uh, I happen to love you very much. Um, I think that your industriousness can really allow you to do anything you choose to do, honestly. I think Virgos can do pretty much anything they put their minds to. And because they're earth signs, they manifest it into reality. They take what they think about and 
then they make it happen. Virgos make it happen. Um, and at the center of the zodiac, they really are they really are people that help to uh, to balance to balance the zodiac and teach other people about how to care for others. They have incredible empathy and a deep, deep resonating sense of their place in the world. They're really down to earth people and that's so fantastic. So let me look at your astrology because there's so much to talk about. I think that this is gonna be a banner year for you. A banner year, really. The reason that I picked the word Jupiter for your keyword is because it's that important to you this year. Jupiter's my favorite planet. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it really is a time for you to gain such wisdom and perspective about what the next phase of your life is. And it is a change agent month. You, everyone in the Zodiac uh, is going through a change, going through a metamorphosis of sorts. Because we have two major eclipses this month and Saturn is changing signs. Saturn is that long transit, the 29 year transit. And it takes two years. And the truth is, for the next two years, you're setting up a brand new chapter of your life. And Jupiter is helping you to expand your consciousness about who you are and what you bring to the planet. And even more importantly, and this is rather rare, the North Node is hanging out with Jupiter and it's going to help you really listen and hear from yourself to know what your life purpose is. So the North Node is involved too. It's amazing. And, and the two eclipses this month are really powerful and important too. So we'll go through some of the dates. Firstly, I do want to say that Venus goes direct on the 6th. Yay! And for Virgo, that's important. Because, and for all of us, really. But Virgo, I mean, excuse me, Venus, um, when in retrograde, sort of puts the brakes and halts um, our, our relationships and our money, our income, the, the, the flow. And so it's been in retrograde. Now that it's going direct on the 6th, it'll, it'll stay stationary and then go direct as we go into the month. But it's in your 12th house. Again, your spiritual understanding, your deep, deep awakening sense of self, your, your deeply personal thoughts, your private self. And it's, it's, it's having come full circle on things and getting the big life lesson um, from, the, from the previous year. So wow, are you really thinking with expansiveness at this point in, in your life, Virgo? And, and this is a new chapter for you. And I really do hope that you will open your arms and embrace it wholly because you have such incredible manifestation potential. You really do. You're, you're such incredible manifestors. So I think that Venus going direct for you is going to be important and money is going to start to flow in a lot easier and your relationships also will begin to sort of lighten up a little bit as well with Venus going direct. A very important part of this month for you Virgo is the new moon. It's a partial solar eclipse and it's in your first house in Virgo. So it's all about you. <laughs> um, and really, it's it's about your your social, your social and even public um, reputation, how you are seen and heard in the world. So that's major. That's pretty big, and it's it's a new phase, a new phase in your self expression, in really sharing and caring and giving of yourself in just. A freer way it's a liberating time for you and so take that new moon on board that's on the 13th it, it really is a time for you to express yourself it is um, eclipses are, are really very powerful you know we, we have to phase things out of our life so that new phases can begin in our life and that does happen with eclipses and that's important but uh, another interesting aspect, before I jump into the tarot for you, is that Mercury is retrograde this month from uh, September 17th going into October until the 9th. So this is in your second house of Libra, and that is about your resources, your income, your, your self-esteem, right? Inner resources. 
and because it's mercury your ruling planet it is a time to revise and refine your life in a way that helps you balance and prioritize the things that you really want to do and the way you want to spend your time and energy so I think Mercury retrograde for you actually will slow you down this month and give you a chance to breathe and think and revise the things that that can be improved you guys are all about that uh, making improvements you have incredible self-discipline uh, just watch your perfectionism because you know if you if you focus too much on the details of mercury retrograde um, then you can end up in analysis paralysis and that's uncomfortable you don't want to be there you want to focus more I would say on your process than on perfectionism all right I think that's going to be important for you and take time in nature Virgo take time to reboot your physicality your physical uh, well-being as well as your mental well-being so mind body spirit health is important for you to pay attention to and you guys are really good at that um, it is also probably a good time to start considering something that you can add into your life that helps you to again go out to the public and give your love give you of yourself um, to others in a new way so uh, perhaps considering a volunteerism something like that would be really good for you I do think so um, I think that your your daily life is going to change and I think that it's going to be something that you want I think it's going to be something that you decide to empower yourself to do so that you can be more efficient be more effective but more than that so that you can stop and smell the roses a bit and enjoy your life to a greater degree and Jupiter's going to help you see it it's going to help you see the bounty and the, the possibilities that are that are in the coming year for you um, because you know it's a blessing Jupiter brings blessings it's such a benefic planet so let's jump into your tarot um, the issue for your month Virgo is the six of cups actually what I did is I pulled a card in your tree of life spread and because it's your birthday month I decided to pull a qualifying card as well to give you a little bit more in-depth for you okay Please pardon me. I've been talking all day, so I'm thirsty. Okay. So your issue for the month, Virgo, is the Six of Cups, which makes perfect sense in Mercury Retrograde. You are really looking at things, maybe feeling a bit sentimental, going back through some of the memories of your childhood, and that really is, is about Saturn. Saturn is changing into Sagittarius which is in your for your fourth house and that is your roots it is your your first family your mother your father your grandparents right where you come from your heritage your childhood rearing and to some extent your childhood conditioning how you see the world and the um, the way that you that you formulated your understanding of the world and that's going to expand Jupiter is going to really expand your definitions of things your definition of life your definition of love your definition of relationship and so looking back and taking review over things is such a, a smart thing to do during Mercury retrograde it's a nice time for you to get still and take a breather uh, from your busy hectic workaday life and and consider this your qualifying card the strength card because your strength is in the way that you formulated your yourself and and your paradigm of what you see the world to be um, you know it's a time I think in, in our history a new renaissance and in the age of Aquarius we are redefining things we're looking at our childhood conditioning and saying you know life is more life is more you know we're coming out of the phases of just surviving as a species and moving more into into thriving living longer and doing more with our lives and and being renaissance men and women and trying new things learning more and uh, going more places and doing more and I think that your strength Virgo is looking back at your childhood and deciding what you want to keep in your daily life and what you can let go of and begin anew what you can start now in this new phase 
Saturn in Sagittarius is an important transit for you. It's with Jupiter. So as Jupiter is expanding you and the way that you look at the world, awakening you to your spiritual side, your, your fullness, your learning, your wisdom, it is, it's, it's making you go deeper, much deeper. And with Saturn involved, looking at your family and childhood issues and such, I really do think that Saturn's going to make you work on redefining yourself. Redefining yourself and, and deciding that you can be anybody you want to be from this point forward. Absolutely. And we can all do that. Um, but you're going to feel that. You're going to feel the shift. You're going to feel the shift of wanting to move through the world and discovering things. Okay? We're going through that right now. It's very good. And so that's your issue. And the form that it's taking is the Three of Swords in the Judgment card. I think that when you look back at your childhood and you remember all the things that were difficult, we all have something in our childhoods that we have to heal. And Chiron is very much involved this month, as well as the North Node, which is going to awaken you to your soul path. Chiron is trying to heal your old childhood wounds. And the old conditioning that you're having to break just because you might want to expand your definitions of how you have relationship. So that is something you're using your good judgment about. And it is a time of change. When the judgment card falls on the table, it really means that something new is, is happening and it's major. It is really major for you. And it's going to help you see your karmic destiny, your dharma, your purpose. So that's your issue for the month. It's deep and wide. It really is. And of course it is, right? Jupiter's in Virgo. Got so much going on. Okay, so how you're feeling? Strong, I see. <laughs> it's the Emperor and the Hierophant. I mean, just to be mundane about it, it's strong and wise. You're feeling strong and wise. So you are. You're saying to yourself, I, I really want to go deeper. I want to be more, do more, experience more, see more. And Jupiter will make you want to travel. It will awaken you to want to learn more, read more, um, maybe even involve yourselves in new cultures and such, just because you're curious. Virgos are very curious. And so you have set up structures in your life that I think have kept you in balance. Um, the, the emperor has stability and discipline, and you guys have, have that in spades. And you know, the Hierophant is really about wisdom and seeking counsel to gain wisdom. So I think right now you're going to take your own counsel. I think you're going to sit in Mercury retrograde. I think you're going to reminisce. I think you're going to look at your roots, your childhood rearing, and I think you're going to make some judgments, some decisions about what you can let go of now and what can begin anew for you. So this is a strong way to feel and really, um, if anything, Virgo, it's, it's almost like um, you're trying to decide if doing everything in the same pedantic way and keeping control of everything is actually keeping you, holding you back from changing things up a bit and, and trying new things. So try not to strive for perfectionism in your day, day to day and open yourself up to a little more spontaneity, if anything, okay? All right, and what I see that you are thinking is the Seven of Pentacles and the Sun. This is fantastic. Again, you are taking stock, and I think this, because it's with the Sun, I really do think this is look, you looking at your health and well-being, and I think it's you looking at your budget right now, Mercury retrograde, you are looking at your resources and you're looking at your self-esteem. If you've had a low self-esteem in your life, well, your whole self is about to bust wide open. In a year, a year from now, I think you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I have really, really grown. I have grown myself in such a way that makes me love myself even more and accept myself even more. And I think that that's what the sun is saying. When you evaluate your life in Mercury retrograde this month, and you start to feel the new energy of your solar return. And you start to work out childhood stuff. 
Mars is going to bring you energy and drive and passion. And it may make you even more assertive, actually, throughout the month. I do know that Mercury is squaring Pluto a couple of times. It is on the 9th of the month and the 24th. And that's challenge. Pluto challenges us. And Mercury is about communication. So if it's challenging you in Mercury retrograde to decide what to say, when to say it, who and whom to say it to, um, uh, take your time with that and think about that deeply. Because um, I think you're trying to understand things. I think your depth of understanding of yourself, of your values, what you care about, your relationship dynamics even. And that's not just romance, it's business. It's in Libra, Mercury, Mercury retrograde, it's in your second house. So it's also about fairness and equality and balance, you know? So I think you're gonna look at your relationship dynamics and revise what needs to be revised and refine what needs to be refined. So yeah, that's a very good thing, absolutely. All right, so what you know about yourself, Virgo, birthday guy or gal is the three of cups and the knight of swords so I think that you you are making decisions to take action on something new and I think because you are looking at your relationship dynamics I think that you are deciding things like do I prefer to work alone or do I prefer to work with people? Do I prefer to work in a busy office where there's you know lots of noise and phones ringing? Or do I prefer to be self-employed? I think that you're gonna be asking yourself what kind of work you wanna do and making decisions about it. When I looked at this, I also saw you taking time to really spend some time with the people that you love and and speak and talk to them. Really, you know, get together and talk to people. This sword is really about an idea as well. And if you have an idea about uh, going into business, you know, you really should because I think that it's going to attract to you many things that will really give you reason to celebrate. I, and this, this is really about thinking and deciding to take action on getting out there, putting yourself out there, you know, when Venus does go direct in Leo, it can be such a form of income for you. You could go out, you could do something for the public. You certainly could. It's time for you to speak more. I really think so. All right, and what you need to know about yourself, Virgo, is the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This is love and money. This is Venus going direct in Leo. <laughs> this is fantastic. So, you know, what you need to know about yourself is good news. <laughs> and uh, so take stock of that. That's why I think that the cards above it are about an idea that you're, that you're working on, mulling over. And, um, and also this is about your love relationships and your friendships and the bounty that they bring you and the self-esteem that it brings you. You're a, you're a good friend. Um, you're a good confidant for anyone to have. So know that and love that about yourself Virgo because we love that about you and also you know I really do think that if you're single um, in Mercury retrograde you know old friends old lovers uh, can could come back into your life you might be hearing from people um, and you know you're, you're trying to, to set up a foundation in your life that really will will leave a legacy a mark on the world and you're going to be doing that all year jupiter is asking you to do that and the north node is asking you to do that and saturn is saying this is what we're doing <laughs> so um your future is looking good it's looking bright and i hope you do have the positivity um that when you're making your plans and you're taking your own counsel and you're really setting up your kingdom um, it's a good time. I think it's going to make you feel balanced with, with Mercury retrograde and Libra. So it's a good way to feel. It's really, it's really good. I think that that's a good thing for you. It looks good. It does. So enjoy that. Enjoy that because it's bringing you wisdom. It's bringing you such depth. 
So uh, what's working for you this month, Virgo, is the Empress and the Knight of Cups, right? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. <laughs> so I think that this is telling you to really sink your toes in the grass. Get out in nature. Move with the rhythms, the flow of life more. Um, put down your list, you know. Let go of your chores for a day or two during Mercury retrograde when you want to slow down and just get out in nature and smell the flowers and enjoy because um, it's going to inspire you. It's going to bring you just divine inspiration, new ideas. New ideas that you're going to take action on because I think that you've got something to birth from yourself. A creative thing that's going to, I think it's going to surprise even you a year from now. I think it's coming from a place of such love and I think you're going to move that way. You're going to move in the direction of what makes you happy, what makes you really feel good about yourself. That's so good. That's what, what is working for you. So. That's fantastic, Virgo. And your challenge for the month is the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So this tells me that the Knight, the Knight of Wands is probably the most impulsive. I mean, he's, he's not as impulsive as the page, but he's spontaneous. That's the word I want, really spontaneous. So if your challenge is maybe to be a little more spontaneous, because, you know, guy or girl, you are the King of, Pen, uh, King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles, right? So. So I really do think that you have something that you want to get going on, right? That empress, something you want to birth. And I think it'll, I mean, you've got the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles on the table and more than that. This is a huge time for you. So whatever your opportunities are, really consider them this month in Mercury retrograde, take your time to really consider what you'd like to do that would make you happy and be innovative about it, right? Wands is, is inspiration and innovation. It really is. So that could, that could be a business idea. And if this is a challenge, it's really to allow for it. It's really to allow yourself to move in a, in a little bit of a different way. So, um, Take in that inspiration and, and allow for the ideas to flood in because they're going to with Jupiter. They're going to with Mercury retrograde. They absolutely are. And Mars. Mars will give you energy, drive, and passion. So that's fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Uh, when, when Mercury does square Pluto and Mars will square Saturn later in the month, you're going to feel a little bit limited. You're going to want to move faster than you can right now this month, but that's okay. Um, it's a time to slow down. It's time to take your time. And this may be how you feel like you want to move, 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 move on it. But instead of doing it in actuality, uh, do it mentally and spiritually. Let the idea grow inside of you. Let it, let it go from a seed to a sprout to a vine. And then once uh, Mercury retrograde ends, you might really begin something new. It could be a new job. It could be a new career path. It could be a move. So whatever it is, Virgo, enjoy it because I think that this is going to be the, the beginning of the rest of your life. Um, with that North Node, there's this, you've got a path here that you're supposed to walk. You really do. So my advice this month for you, Virgo, is the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Whatever your idea is about right now, whatever this is, this, this idea that you're pregnant inside with, if it's a baby, congratulations, really. Um, but if it's an idea for business, then you know, this is going to come. You know, it really is, especially now that Venus is going direct on the 6th. You actually could hear about a job if you have a 
and, you know, any, uh, if you have any job potentials out there, they could come in. They really could. So, you know, take that on board. And then the seven of wands is really about taking a stand and speaking up and, um, and you know if people if people are assertive this month because with, with these eclipses they can be um, just stand your ground you know take a stand on what you believe is is right because there is something there there's a seed there that's growing in you and this is just a new beginning you know the gateway to the holy grail the cup of life you know life is is right for the picking for you right now and I think you can go anywhere and do anything. You, you just have to get past those moments, those shift moments when you're going to feel limited by Saturn and the squares this month. And just take that time to ruminate, to think over it, to do your homework, do some research and get innovative. All right. That, that's a beautiful, a beautiful thing for you guys. And, uh, and whatever it is, it's a good idea. Take a stand, stand up for it. I think it's really something that you're going to want to move on. I mean, you've got knights on the table. You are going to be moving on something. And you've got that 10. Don't forget that. And the sun. And the sun. So blessings are going to abound, I think, coming up for you. It's your year, Virgo. You know? It, it can be anything that you want it to be. It could be a home business. It could be a volunteer program. Um, you know, it's a good time. Virgo's... Virgos are really wonderful at volunteering. So if there's a cause that you have and you've said your whole life you really want to do it, please do. I really mean it. It's going to be something that would really benefit the people that you help, but also grow you inside. I think that that would make you feel fantastic about yourself. Okay, so I'm going to start here and then go to your karma. What's hidden? The element that you can't quite see that that's working in your month is the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This is about honing a craft. You know, it's called the Apprentice card, this card, the Eight of Pentacles. It's something that you do. And you do it because you love it. And you do it because you're proud of it. You think it's worthwhile. And it brings you self-esteem because of that. Because your work is respectable. You are very respectable people and uh, honor yourself, honor your work, uh, take credit and and definitely enjoy what's coming in for you. I mean, it, it's going to come in for you. You have an idea, something that you want to do. And then with the four of wands, you know, I think this, this is a celebratory time for you. This could be that you really are just going to enjoy your birthday and take on board everything that the solar return will bring to you. You know, you're on a new pathway that I think is going to help you celebrate life more. I really do. I think that you're going to really heal, going back and heal a lot of childhood issues with Saturn and Sagittarius, your fourth house. You're going to be doing some cleansing and clearing and letting go of anything that you took on in your personality um, that needs an update because you've learned so much more uh, you know than, than you knew when you were younger and so you're growing your definition of self right so that heals it heals it helps us let go of things and it helps us to discern and it helps us to see the blessings that are abounding in front of us, the opportunities that are right there, and the seeds that we need to plant in order to, to find this come in for us, to take stock of your life, right? Look at it through the eyes of wisdom, you know, and move in love. You're building a, 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 or I should say you're writing a new chapter. That's really what I want to say. You're writing a brand new chapter in your life. And it's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. It's the yin-yang of life. And it opens the heart. It opens the chakras. It gets them flowing. It allows for growth. It allows 
You know, and sometimes in life, I mean, we, we forget. We need the sun to grow, don't we? But we need the rain too. And this month, there's going to be some rain. The end of the month, there's a full moon total lunar eclipse in your eighth house of Aries. And so something will phase out and you'll begin a new phase. It really is about passive income and shared resources. And uh, this would be a great time to work on your credit, to get rid of some debt. Insurance payouts could come in. It really could. Something, something could come in for you. I think you can really just refine your daily, um, your daily family budget and how you work with money and your relationship with money. And you know, Susie Arman says we can't fear money, right? So I agree. And uh, have faith. You know, have faith in yourself because your resource really is yourself. And you're going to spend the next year realizing that, that you can do anything that you really want to do. I think that you're an incredibly uh, well-rounded and balanced individual who can go forward and see the opportunities that come because your eyes will be open. I think that that's what that says. So I really hope you enjoy your birthday. I really do. Okay, so your karmic lesson for the month, Virgo, is the High Priestess and the Star. So beautiful. This is what Jupiter's doing for you for the next year. It's bringing you higher wisdom, higher learning. It's teaching you to trust your intuition. It's awakening you to your gifts. Um, Virgos can be very em empathic and intuitive left and right brain both functionality abounds in, in Virgo and that north node is going to get you on your soul path it really is it's we're going to work hard for the next year to have you do that so embrace it and enjoy it you're in a spiritual awakening and a deepening of understanding with Venus direct in Leo in your 12th house you've you've gone a full year you've learned an incredible lesson I think that you've I think that you've added I think you've added to your self definition I think that you know that you can do way more than you thought you could that you are more than you thought you were and you're gonna spend the next year really believing that and walking forward with forward in the with the confidence that that brings and walking forward in confidence brings you opportunities it brings you opportunities it brings you financial abundance you know it brings you contacts friends and associates it brings you optimism and energy and it brings you affinity that kind of global love where your interactions with people are deeper and and that really that brings wisdom and I think that that's what this month is about for you so your keyword is Jupiter because I, I really hope you remember that for the whole year I really do I hope that you take it in, take it in take it in read write go back to school take a cooking class or learn a language or travel do something that really inspires you and grows your soul and and something that really makes you enjoy your life in a bigger and better way I really think so so I pulled a few oracles for you and this just I just went of course <laughs> when, when, no, when this came out of the deck and it's life review life review Archangel Jeremiah Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So look at that. I mean, you're cleansing and clearing with Saturn hanging out with Jupiter. In the next year, Jupiter and Virgo. For the next two years, Saturn and Sagittarius. Helping you go back and look at your roots and define and redefine 
who you are now uh, as opposed to who you thought you were. <laughs> so uh, you have more skills, talents, and abilities than you can imagine. And if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything, any goal, any dream. You just have to have the vision. And the reason that I really do know that this is the message for you is because I've also pulled the card transformation. I journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness. So Saturn's going to dig down in the basement and it, it's going to help you look in the mirror and look at everything, the light, the shade, and accept whole self. And then it's going to make you see that you never ever do stop growing unless you keep blinders on and close your eyes to the bounty in the world. So really do have your, your awakening, I hope, this month. It's the beginning of a major journey for you. Your solar return is bringing you the gift, the reward of what Saturn brings when it changes, when it finishes out one sign and moves into another. It's a generational shift and it brings this reward. It brings growth. It brings an amazing amount of bounty from the heart, mind, body, and soul. Your gift is to is yourself. It is. So go deep and wide this month, okay? I really hope you have a wonderfully happy birthday. And I hope that this next year is one that when you look back in retrospect and you do your review, you were so grateful that you changed enough in your daily life to be able to include the things that you've always wanted to learn, always wanted to do, always wanted to grow within yourself and birth out of yourself. It is a good time for you. It really is. And I hope you enjoy it. I really, really do. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, you can reach me at selfquest at yahoo.com. And I miss hope very much. But even though we'll be in different locations, I'm very hopeful that you will help me encourage her to um, upload her own readings. She's a gifted intuitive, and I really do think that she has so much to offer. And uh, she's one of my favorite Virgos in the world. So happy birthday. Happy birthday to all of you Virgos out there. And I will see you next month in October.